Yemen's exiled Vice President Khaled Bahat landed in Aden, along with the World Food Program delivering much-needed aid. Jamal al is at the airport. This is one of the first airlifts to take place since fighters loyal to President Abdurrahman Mansour Hadi managed to recapture the airport from the Shia militia, the Houthis and their allies. Hundreds of tons of much-needed aid being delivered by the Qatari Air Force now being unloaded by locals here. Although they are in control of Adan International Airport, the situation is still fluid, it is still uh, somewhat turbulent, and that's why the aircraft that has come to deliver this aid is only staying on the ground for enough time to unload the cargo before it takes off again, because there is still some sort of shelling and mortar attacks that sporadically take place. Brazil is testing some of its Olympic venues, with a countdown to the Summer Olympics next year. The disabled athletes were first off the blocks. Daniel Schweimler is in Rio de Janeiro. You could say that the countdown to next year's Summer Olympic Games has begun, with this the para-triathlon event on the Copacabana Beach. It's a rehearsal for all concerned, the athletes and the organisers, but still has a fiercely competitive edge, because places are at stake for next year's Games. A research group in London is developing technology for soft robots. It's exactly what it sounds like. Taking inspiration from the natural world, these robots have soft exteriors that make them safer and more adept for collaboration with humans. Tariq Blaisley saw the softer side of hardware. These researchers took inspiration from the octopus, an animal that doesn't have a hard skeleton but is still able to become stiff and rigid. And they mimicked its muscles and the way it does this using silicon, uh, small granules and pressurized air to produce an arm they believe could make robotic surgery considerably safer. All this and more on Al Jazeera.